Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. There's some new news regarding Neptunia Game Maker Revolution, so that is good. There's actually several things here. So the first one being that we now have a we have an exact release date. So PS4, PS5, and Nintendo Switch versions will be out May 14th. So that's great. There's also limited editions to look at here, and uh, pre-order dates are also on here. So yeah. Oh yeah. Also, there's a trailer, and um, that's pretty good. I mean, obviously there's Japanese gameplay out already, but you know, this is the official English one, so worth talking about. I also noticed an interesting quirk about the trailers. So yeah, firstly about the release date, of course people are going to go, hey, what about PC? But hey, every single Neptunia game ever since the Rebirth games came out was uh, ported to the PC. So I don't think we have to worry about that. You know how it is. Usually it happens later, probably later in the year, something like that. So yeah, it says here, fans can check out the new gameplay overview trailer that showcases in-game battles, EXE drive attacks, and older net riding in style on her nifty bike. It's actually interesting because it is actually three different trailers. So the content is the same in terms of the written information. So, you know, you see a bit of gameplay and whatever, but you can see the footage is actually different. So there's like different dungeons and different environments. And then also, when, you know, during special attacks, it's different characters. So it might be worth looking at all the trailers there. But basically what we can see there is that it's sisters versus sisters gameplay, but it's done. It, it's done better. It's a uh, revised. There we go. That's that's a better way of putting it. So it does uh, bring up the combo system from sisters versus sisters where you can, you know, chain them all together. And then it mentions that you can have four party members, which is great. That was kind of like the weird thing about Sisters versus Sisters that is like three. Because it makes sense how the game is structured and or more like how the characters are paired together and all that. That you would have four active members. So there we go. We have that. So yeah, we see a little bit of battling. So yeah, very much like uh, Sisters versus Sisters. But it seems to be improved. So that's a good thing. I do like that system anyway. So... Um, yeah, I'll be happy to see how much it's improved. You can also see some familiar like dungeons and stuff, but there's also some new things like there was like a rainy looking thing and then, uh, yeah, things like that. The motorcycle mechanics look wonky. <laughs> like, I don't know, there's something really unrealistic about the way the motorcycle behaves, but anyways, whatever. I'm interested to see how that actually works once you're playing it. And then it shows just a little bit of how, you know, the mechanics there in terms of how the the developer, the video game developer stuff is going to work. All right, so uh, let's have a look at the limited edition. So this one is for North America. Now we can actually see what's in there. There's an official hardcover art book. Uh, well, first of all, there's a box. That's probably a good thing to bring up. <laughs> but yeah, there's a hardcover art book, official soundtrack. I mean... They wouldn't include an unofficial soundtrack, would they? Anyways, there's two cloth posters, steel game case, reversible cover sleeve, collectors. Okay, there we go. Collectors box as mentioned. Somewhere down there. Huh. And then there's an exclusive trading card. So let's have a quick look here. Interesting kind of color scheme they went for. It's a bit of a mixture with like bright past. Well, yeah, kind of like pastel -y colors with like, you know, the post-it note, beige slash yellow and all that. You know, with the office supplies, because, you know, the whole game developer thing. But then you still have the blue and then the purple and all that stuff. It's not the first time we've seen, like, a yellowish Neptunia box. I think uh, Rebirth 3 was like that, kind of. A little bit. But it's certainly not, you know, the usual cover we see. So, yeah, Big Nep and the new uh, three new characters there on the collector's box and the official soundtrack. Here's the art book. It looks like it's really thick and chunky, like from the illustration, but I don't know. It says it's only 48 pages, so yeah. I've already mentioned my opinion about uh, hardcover art books that are only like a couple of pages. Like the covers are as thick as the entire contents sometimes. So it's like, I think it makes more sense to make them soft cover. It's like easier to look through, but you know, I'll reserve judgment to when I hold it in my hand. There's also here... We can see the cover again and also the not yet revealed exclusive trading card. That's the thing they like to do in the last couple of years there. Oh, that's just the all the different versions there. Switch, PS4 and PS5. The collector's box dimensions are listed here. You can kind of see that it's hinted that there's a bit of a 
design on the inside. I do like it when it does wrap around like that. Sometimes it's more elaborate in certain games, but you know, so yeah, size 7.1 inches by 8.7 inches by 2.8 inches. Something tells me that this is actually a metric measurement just converted. It's the same with like Ikea furniture. It's like all these weird, you know, things. And then it's like, oh, it's actually, you know, 60 centimeters instead of like some sort of really crooked number in inches. But anyways, here's the soundtrack. I'm pretty sure we've seen a couple of soundtracks that have a disc design like this, right? It looks like the discs in the, isn't there the very first Neptunia game like on the PS3 that has that disc spinning somewhere in the menu? I don't know. Seems, uh, seems like something I remember. Here are the posters. They're A2 sized. And then we have the regular cover art basically on uh, one of the posters there. And then the second one has Noir in a wedding dress. I do like cloth posters because, well, I mean, normal posters, they get damaged and stuff. But can you really frame cloth posters? I don't know. But then again, I usually just leave them in the LE box and just enjoy the fact that they exist somewhere in my possession. Here's the reversible cover sleeve. So it's the LE stuff, basically. Now, this is where I prefer if it wasn't just the same art. Because in this case, it's like, you know what? We've got this our image already here on the LE box and also the soundtrack. So maybe just leave the regular cover art, you know, for variation purposes. I think maybe they should have thrown a different kind of illustration in there. That's what it looks like for the other systems. Here is the steel game case. Pretty cool design, actually. I like, uh, yeah, we have Big Nap and her, whatever that transformed mode is called there. Her not, not quite HDD, but looks like HDD kind of thing. And then the new characters in the back. I say new characters because I already forgot all their names. But hey, once I play the game, um, that'll change, obviously. And we've got an interesting style going on on the inside there. Again, that's uh, the same with the uh, PS4 and PS5 versions as well. Just uh, the aspect ratio is taller in terms of the steel case for the Switch. But yeah, overall, um, I wouldn't say it's like super original, but it does look good. I mean, there's been so many limited editions, you know. <laughs> it's going to be repetition of the things that are in there. So I don't know if Britain is going to get the same thing in Europe. I say Britain and Europe because, you know, because of the whole Brexit thing, it's kind of split with the e-store there. But yeah, for Europe, there is a uh, day one edition and also a dual pack, which includes sisters versus sisters. So that is interesting. So basically, it's the day one editions of both games there. Uh, so they come in one box, which is not yet finalized. It does just say sample on there. Oh, wow. I forgot how big the USK logos are. Jesus. Say so we've got the same cover art and reversible cover art. There's like some stickers, it seems, and then like an acrylic sort of thing. That's pretty cool. And what is this thing here? Is that like a towel or a poster or a cloth poster? It looks bendy. By the way, the same sort of stuff is included with the Sisters versus Sisters as well, as we can see here. Look at the uh, cover art. It's uh, the uncensored version here from Sisters versus Sisters. That's interesting. This comes with stickers again there. Some sort of little card things with illustrations. Uh, let's see here. Ah, yeah, there we go. Cloth poster. And just so you know, the Day 1 edition comes for PS4, 5, and Switch, but the dual pack seems to be only for the nintendo switch so right now there's no pre-order date for those but uh, just to back up to the north american version april 2nd is going to be when you can pre-order the limited edition there so there you go the you know for the european market that's going to be at uh i don't know if it's going to be at a later date but it'll be revealed at a later date anyways so yeah not that long to go Less than two months, and then we get to check out what it's like to play Neptunia Game Maker Revolution. So that's the news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.